Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor and the only favorite Las Vegas realtor in the Valley. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm over here in Summerlin in the Kestrel Commons Village at Nighthawk by KB Homes, which is a new community over here in this village. It just opened up in December, so it's kind of excited to showcase the models for you guys. Um, Kestrel Commons is a newer village in Summerlin, and it's right next to the Kestrel Village, and it will also be next to, or well, in between it will be your urban shopping center. This is right off of the 215 and Lake Mead. So we are gonna tour the, which one is this? The 2114 floor plan over here, which is two stories, 2114 square feet, three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three baths, and a two car garage. The base price is starting at 533,990. This is just the base price. Um, that could change depending on if you select any options, upgrades, structural options, and lot premiums. So as you walk in, I do believe the 2144 is another popular floor plan here by KB. In this community, there is going to be 192, oh, we can look at the garage. There's going to be 192 lots. All of them are two-story, and they have six different floor plans to choose from. They have three modeled. It looks like they're going to have the tankless water heater. It's a good size garage, the fire sprinkler system. So that's good that we're able to see what the garage looks like because typically in model homes, they have the garage door locked. And since we're here, we'll just go ahead and take a tour of this bedroom downstairs. So this option I would imagine would could be a bedroom or it could be a den. If it was a den, this would be a half bath but they converted this one to show you that it is a full bedroom with a full bath. And they have the builder grade tub shower insert. They use the builder grade quartz countertops with the gray shaker cabinets. And they also did a beautiful um, engineered luxury, sorry, not engineering, luxury vinyl flooring in here. And they put carpets. So this is the downstairs bedroom that could be a den as well with a beautiful black wall, decent sized closet and a ceiling fan. Homes that have bedrooms on the first floor tend to sell better than homes that do not. So this is a great selling feature to have when you buy a home. Oh yes, I remember this floor plan. You have the stairs right there. Um, so yes, this 2114 is actually a pretty, uh, another popular model by KB. When you walk in, you have the living room area. A lot of people like it because of how the stairs are hidden. You have the great size um, kitchen with the dining room. Now the lot sizes in this community are pretty small. They're anywhere between 3,200 to 5,800. They had, when they first released, 15 lots. They've sold three and they still, they have 13 lots available to sell. Now these lots are not quick move in or standing inventory homes. This is a smaller pantry. These homes are gonna be built from ground up. You pick the lot that you want and you will have, well, that's nice, they have this, a lot premium. And the lot premiums are anywhere between 3,000 to 60,000, depending on where that lot is located. So you have a, a nice size island with the sink. All these are upgrades. And I like that they did this as a, a cooktop and range head instead of having the oven and the, or the cooktop and the microwave right there. I like that they have the microwave and the oven here. This is a better option. Now, when you buy from ground up, you're going to go to the design studio. But before you go under contract, you're going to select what's called your structural options first. Okay. And those structural options can be the, um, the slider right here, the barbecue stub or the door at the garage. There's a bunch of other little things. Then you're going to go to the design studio and select your flooring, your countertops, your cabinets, your backsplash, etc. You will also have an appliance package that you select. So you could have an upgraded appliance package. Instead of having the microwave here, you would have a range hood and cooktop. And then also you will go to a different appointment and have what's called an electrical package. And you will select to see if you want um, pendant lighting here. And if you want a light here, if you want ceiling fans in every room, 
if you want CAT 6, all of those options will be at that meeting. Now, when you buy new construction, the flooring in this community will be all carpeted. The only area that doesn't come carpeted is your kitchen, your bathrooms, laundry room, and entry. All your wet areas will have tile. If it were me, I know a lot of people say go with the generic and then hire another company to do the flooring. That is one option. But if it were me, just to get it over with, the one area I would spend my money on is going to be the flooring. No one likes carpeting in Vegas. And if I were to put carpet in my house, it would only be in the bedrooms. Everywhere else would be either this luxury vinyl flooring, engineered hardwood, or tile. So as I mentioned, the lot sizes are a lot smaller. This is a pretty small backyard, but because this is part of what's called Kestrel Commons, most of the homes here are gonna be tighter with a lot smaller yard size. A lot of these homes will be in this community or village will be like townhomes, three-story homes, things that are very condensed together. So as you can see, you have a beautiful view of the Las Vegas Strip. Now there is no guarantee that if you buy a house a lot on this side that you will have this view because who knows what community is going to go in front of you. Um, but it's a nice view right now. I like this village because of all the beautiful views of the strip and then the beautiful views of the mountains in the back. And I also like this nice size covered patio. So it's a very large covered patio. So let's go take a tour of the upstairs. They carpeted, they put carpet on the stairs, which is also, you know, another way to save money. Another area I would not skip on is my electrical package because I want to make sure that I'm able to put ceiling fans in every room and that I also have ethernet or ether, internet access capability. I'd probably put the Smurf tubing in every room, even the loft. Whew. So when you come upstairs, to the left looks like the primary bedroom the loft, and then two other bedrooms, or three. I can't tell. Laundry room is upstairs. You're gonna have your washer dryer and your, it's a good size laundry room. These rooms seem a little smaller. With a decent size closet. Then another bedroom right here. Then the guest or secondary bathroom has double vanity with the generic quartz countertops and also the generic tub shower insert. So I kind of like how they just show you this is what the house comes with. It's very nice. Now the HOA here, there's two HOAs. This is a gated community. Nighthawk is $85 a month, Summerlin West is $55 a month, and your SIDS are $280 semi-annually. The lot prices range between $3,000 to $60,000, depending on where the lot is and the lot size. Again, as I mentioned earlier, the lot sizes are pretty small, between $3,200 and $5,800. So this is the primary bedroom. And it looks like they have a closet right here. It's decent size. I mean, it's okay. But I do love these luxury vinyl floors. That's the wide plank luxury vinyl. Super in trend right now. And it looks like they did some customization to this uh, shower. They did put a little tile in it, but they used the same quartz um, as the base of the shower. Oh, it looks like the window is optional as well. I would want a window just for make sure you get some natural light in the bathroom. And then the double vanity with the same quartz as the other bathroom and the same cabinets throughout the house. I kind of like this charcoal gray um, counter cabinets. Then the bathroom. Let's see what else I missed. So like I said, there's gonna be six different floor plans um, on here and they're all two-story homes. To summarize, we're in the 2014 floor plan, two-story, three to five bedrooms. And I bet you this loft can be converted into a bedroom to make it the fifth or fourth. It's a 
pocket size closet. All right, let's start over. So it has three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three baths, and a two car garage. Base price, depending on elevation, is $533,990. There is three different elevations to choose from. And the reason they have elevations and what an elevation means is how the outside appearance of your home looks like. What kind of lines does it have? Is it more asymmetrical? Is it more square? Is it Spanish? And what kind of coloring, color scheme the house was selected for? And if it has any masonry type work, it, it has, you know, in Summerlin, you have to have different options in order to, so that no house looks the same, if that makes sense. All right, folks, let me know. <laughs> Damien's here. Yeah. Say hi. hi. <laughs> let me know if you have any questions. And if you're thinking about buying a new construction home here in Summerlin, I'm your new home sales expert. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin and Las Vegas. You can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112. Let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan. As always, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.